Sorry everybody, it's Zooks here, and welcome back to... Sorry everybody, it's Zooks here, and welcome back to some more Guild Wars 2. As I said, I will be uploading uh, Guild Wars 2 um, today and Wednesday, uh, specifically because uh, I will not be able to record any of it until Monday. So, after Wednesday, you will not see any Guild Wars till Monday. However, there will be uh, Diamond and Technic and the other stuff that I do. Maybe not on Thursday though, because Thursday I have a really busy day. But yeah, so um, we are just in the middle of a um, event that we did, I think twice yesterday. But uh, here we are again, I guess. Um, I was kind of just in the area and I saw the event. I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to do it. Free XP and it's going to help me out. So let's just kill these golden moas. I actually probably want to be focusing more on the bandits so I get more experience from it. But I don't see any. Ah, oh, they're all over here. Okay, so we'll just get rid of that moa. I got a new heal because honestly that other heal took way too long. Uh, that one also has a bit of a regeneration effect if you're standing in the area, which is awesome. So yeah, um, just getting the achievements. Okay, let's kill these bandits. So uh, how are you guys doing? You're doing pretty good. Uh, I know a lot of people, uh, if you're still in school that is, have already started uh, your break for Thanksgiving. I am yet am still Never. taking classes till Wednesday, I believe. But whatever. Um, so yeah. This should be the last couple bandits. Uh, we probably only need like four more. Oh, and uh, I want to ask you guys a question for anyone that does play Guild Wars. Do the sets work better together? So, really? God. And what I mean by sets is, for example, One more my, my coat or chest plate or whatever you may call it. It is an apprentice chest plate. And then these pants are country pants. Now the pants, and personally, I think these look much better. Especially with the, uh, the apprentice, um, oh, let's read this guy. Especially with the uh, apprentice, everything else, I think it just looks nicer. And so my question is for you guys: Is it more powerful if you're using all apprentice or all country, for example? For my case, um, or whatever the case may be for you, similar, just like the same set. Does that affect how much um, like protection you get from it? Because I know it, it goes with each other visually, but I'm not sure if it really has any effect otherwise. Because personally, I think that looks much better. I'd rather have my character look like that. This looks like he just came from a Justin Bieber concert. Yes. <laughs> um, character froze there for a sec. That was weird. Moving onwards, so this will probably be a short video because we are very close to level 10. I don't know how that happened. I didn't do anything off screen recently, that is. So let's kill these harpies for our daily kill process. And this guy looks like he could use some help. Alright. So, um, yeah, I knew he was going to rally there, which is why instead of rezzing him, I just killed that other one. Other harpy, that is. Okay, so let's check the, um, this, deposit co collectibles, compact, uh, let's salvage a bit of stuff. I bought some better salvage kits, so let's do that, um, let's do these, deposit, compact, trophy, trophy, alright. So I am going to keep those pants in case they do help. But this episode, I want to be doing a bit of my uh, personal story quest. Because a uh, tip I learned is that you'll want to stay three levels ahead of your story quest. Then whenever you are three levels ahead, you'll want to do your story quest until um, you reach the level you are now. If that makes any sense. Uh, 
Debating on which one's closer, we'll just go here. So, basically what I mean is, we are level 9 currently, and our story quest, the recommended level is 6. So we will do the story quest until uh, we reach the point where the recommended level for our story quest is level 9, but we'll probably hit 10 once we're done with the story for this episode, and so then I'll do story up until um, it hits level 10. The uh, See here it says like 6 as the recommended level, and we're level 9, so I'm going to do that until we reach the proper thing. So, as we remember from last time, if you saw it, I believe it was level 5 to 6 is when we did this, uh, the story last, was we have to speak with the uh, Seraph to give us locations on the bandit hideout, which is over here, according to that guy. So we got our Bone Fiend with us. Uh, we no longer have the Blood Fiend because I preferred this. You have an initial self heal of 140. The other one was 120, I believe. Um, you have a duration of 10 seconds, which is how long the health lasts. And you get 25 health every second. That's going to be like 10 times better than what we had before. Got a bag of pinched goods. Let's deposit that. Just take out this bandit. Nice, we discovered a new area, giving us 55 experience. And we're moving on in our daily kill progress and daily kill variety. I'm gonna kill this Barracuda. And I guess this is the first time I will be doing uh, underwater combat. So it's pretty much the same as normal combat, but you're underwater, basically. Uh, let's kill this guy. One more thing for my list of there we go. Our, uh, when you are underwater, you use a different weapon. You can get a whole separate uh, weapon, Victory or skill set, rather. Uh, you're still able to use uh, Life Shroud. However, there are specific skills on your utility that you will be unable to use underwater. You can check which are able to and which are not able to. By um, Right here, you can see... Um, here, like, I can't really point to it, because, okay, look, like, right here-ish. You'll see a, uh, a water droplet with an X over it. That means you cannot use it in water. If it does not have that, then the skill is completely usable in water and out of water. Unless, of course, it is a skill that you can only use underwater, like a, um, uh, something that you would have when you go underwater, I guess. So this mission is called Going Undercover. So it looks like there are two ways we can do this, probably, um, assuming, just from the title, but I may be wrong, uh, that there will be two different ways to go about the level. We can do it stealthily, or we can run in the center and try to kill everything we see. I think I'm gonna kill every- No, I'm probably gonna do stealth. I really do like stealth games like Hitman, Absolution, that recently. Uh, came about and that is a fun game uh, from what I've seen I haven't really played it yet but it looks amazing uh, graphically and gameplay wise then you have like the Assassin's Creed series you have a lot of stealth games out there a lot of them don't have that much popularity like Snake uh, the Metal Gear Solid series rather not just Snake but yeah so I really like when ga games give you an option to be stealthy I know Call of Duty had a uh, certain... Oh, right. Forgot about that. Yeah, so that mage disguised us as it uh, as a bandit. So I guess that's... Wait. Oh, no. You can't do that. Um, toggle ar armor. Currently wearing armor. Oh. Okay, well, apparently we don't... Oh, there we are. Okay, so let's... Infiltrate the hideout. They just think we're a bandit, so nothing, nothing. Look what the script dragged in. Who are you? I'm new. Just got sprung, and I'm eager to prove myself. Pete said to check around and make myself useful. Good. There's plenty to be done. Just make sure you stay out of the way. And if nobody else has anything for you, check back with me. I'll put you to work. All right. So. Probably just speak yeah. with him. Yeah. 
Kill the Drakes. I'm a wanted Seems man. Easy. Come here, Drakes. Let me show you who's boss. So I guess for this mission, we're just going to be disguised. We're not necessarily going to be doing stealth, but technically died. we are. I'm so excited. I've never done anything this important before. I don't want to hang around these guys because I don't want them getting any suspicions. I'm just just a bandit looking for work, minding my own business, I'm trying to prove myself to uh, uh, whatever his name is. I can't remember. I remember it's something from like Mickey Mouse or something. I don't know. <laughs> Oh god, let's just take out this drake. Alright, let's go underwater, just so we can have a bit more underwater combat this episode. Until we unlock this, we're basically just going to be spamming. I guess we could go in the death shroud, but it's not really worth it. Heal, okay, feast. Oh nice, weakness for five seconds. Let's just death shroud this guy. Oh, they're different... There are different death shroud abilities underwater, that's interesting. So I'll have to unlock those too. Let's take this guy out so we can unlock a bit more of our death shroud and undeath shroud ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Let's take him out using our Crimson Tide. Lead foes around your target. So that's gonna cause a lot of bleeding, doing a lot of damage, which is pretty good doing damage. Alright, so that was enough to satisfy him. Let's go speak back with Crusher Dan. <laughs> I don't know why I felt like saying it that way. But it seems like that's how the people would refer to him. He's a very gruff guy. Seems to know what he's doing. I'm a wanted man. Give me another challenge then. You got something stronger around here. I can do that easy. Alright. So let's place the bait on the stone outside. So it seems like we're going to be killing something here. I believe he said it was a uh, scale, S-K-A-L-E, or whatever. Rocks. Set bait. Place meat on the rocks. Oh, scab fin. Oh, hell to there. Let's attack this jerk. Use everything we got. Spawn in our buddy. Get show him what he's made of. I don't know. Show him what you're made of, rather. Let's use our dagger, because we can just spam the heck out of that attack. Oh, we still don't have one of our attacks unlocked yet. So I'm gonna try and get that. Let's do that. Come at me, bro. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I just clicked the wrong thing. Let's heal up a bit. Um, that. Switch weapon. AoE auto attack. AoE stands for area effect, for people that don't know. Which is basically your standard one attack. Let's swap weapon sets. Hopefully that will go faster. And there we go. Too easy. Can I take the meat back? Smack. Restores health and energy. Hmm. Gave us a bit of swiftness. Alright, let's go talk back to Crusher Dan. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying it just like that for fun. Hmm, everyone's talking about... I think... Well, wow. Because they're talking about druids and mounts. Make it quick. Okay, so... Old scab Finn won't be bothering anyone else. Hi, you're good. I'm impressed. Put any haste in front of me. Heist. Heist, heist. I don't know. And I'll handle it no matter how dangerous. I'm going to go with that one, but let me just... Yeah, let's say that one. Yay. Looting. I love looting. Speak with Doc Howler. Okay. Seems like he's somewhere in this area. Um, There he is. He's up there. Doctor. Alright. Huh? What's this stuff? What are you doing? Increases ferocity, increases charisma, increases dignity. We want ferocity, because that's what we went with with our character. Alright. Find and gather 
Wicked Tangle Plant. I believe we will be doing that outside. Yeah, so I am going with Ferocity on this character just because he's a necromancer. And if you don't go with Ferocity... I mean, I guess you can go with Dignity, but you don't necessarily need Charisma. Um, but yeah, I'm a brute. My Ferocity is much higher than everything. And it seems like we need to go... If I can get that out of my face. We need to go... Uh, that's not looking good. I think actual Actuality... Actuality. We want to, um... Do I have a swiftness on swiftness on any of these? I think that might. I don't know. I know I have it if I have a warhorn, but I don't necessarily have a warhorn. Do I move faster as death route? No, I don't. Whatever. Okay, let's just use our knife so we can unlock the uh, end feebling blood attack or skill rather. Maybe we we're supposed to go up here. Yeah, this looks more. Right, I guess. More right, that doesn't make sense. Okay, so up the steps. See the light. We're almost level 10. We'll probably get there as soon as we finish up this quest. The thing I dislike about the story is it does take a bit of time to level up. What are we doing? Fine. Gather the wiggle. Oh, right. I'm using my close range weapon, so we want to be right up in the combat. Mobilize our foe, set up a heal, take this guy out. Come here. Okay, well, that's route then. You want to play that way? Oh, wow. So we weren't even attacking this one. We were trying to attack the other one, but we couldn't reach it because it was too far away. Oh, no. I achieve things. I'm an achieve okay, we got our new attack. Use it. Oh, goodness gracious. Alright, leave it alone. Ah! Where is the wickle? T t is this it? Take a cutting. Alright, we got it. Go! Rondele! Protect me, Bone Fiend. Let's heal. We don't necessarily need it, but hey, whatever. Can we just jump down here? No, doesn't look like it. We gotta go the intended way. I guess we can kind of jump down there. Sorry, I'm just reading the chat a bit. See what they're talking you just about. Watch yourself. This spiny stuff, poison, exactly how strong is this poison? I better get out of your way. And that indeed is right. So where is Riot's Alice? Here you are. Hello? What you want. Yeah, the queen's always mucking things up. Explain what you mean. Yeah, I like that because they use the uh, the mocking word. Okay, hang on. In your enlightened opinion, would Krita be better save served by ruling body like the Ministry, or by disbanding all forms of a? Th I'll try that. Well said. I'm proud to stand next to you at the... W okay. So apparently we picked the right way by dissing the government. Wait a second. You look really familiar. Uh, yeah, but I used to run with Pete a long time ago. I just got back. It's not like it used to be. Yeah, Pete's not the man I thought he was. He doesn't care about the struggle at all. Just gold. Why don't you get out? It's possible. If you want it bad enough. I've been thinking about it, believe me. Best not to talk here, though. Hey, stay out of trouble. Maybe I'll see you again. Okay, so apparently... This Riot Alice person that we saved before... Wants to leave the bandits. So maybe... Maybe she'll be an ally to us later on. Or an enemy. Never know. So it looks like we're going there, so best place is just oh wait. Duh. Let's go right here, right next to the thing. <laughs> so we can speak to uh Mr. Logan Thackeray. That is an amazing name. Logan Thackeray. 
Sounds like a guy with a lot of authority behind him, which he is. He has a lot of authority. Um, I dislike how uh, whenever you use waypoints to uh, areas with a lot of people in it, it does take a long time to load. But that's okay because it should take a long time to load because it looks fantastic. I mean, just look at the art on the loading screen. Like, even that looks nice. And in the game, it looks really good, too, because it's bustling with people. You have other players going around. You've got, like, moving things in the environment. You can probably watch these birds fly all around the place if you really want to. Ah, <sighs> loading screens. <laughs> They should, like, give you a little, like, mini-game to play on the loading screen. Like, seriously. Especially if it's gonna take this long. I think there was a game that did that. It was, like... But, like, the the game on the loading screen, it was, like, a, uh... What would you call it? Um... Kind of, like, a space shooter type game. But it wasn't necessarily in space. Like, you would be this little ball that could go all around the screen. And you would shoot other little... Whatever they were. Shapes and stuff. And, like, it was it was a really dumb game, but it's better than just, like, sitting here staring at a loading screen. Unless you're really into the artwork. But, I mean, maybe if, it, maybe if the image shifted a bit, or uh, if it was kind of like the Vistas are, where it, like, is a camera that swoops all around the place, that would be interesting. But it then might take longer for it to load. Um... Feels like we've been sitting here for a good minute. There we go. Okay. Palace waypoints. Right. So let's head through this door. Um. Why did I think we had to repair our armor? I guess we already did. Ooh. Weaponsmith. Let's see if he's got anything. It's a soldier's for us. life for me. Oh, never mind. Um. <laughs> what? What weapons are these? Well, I could buy that on my other character. That's interesting. And then he's just got crude salvage kits. Fantastic. Okay, let's, uh... Let's continue our story line thing. I like how the stories are kind of grouped. I'll show you that in a sec, as soon as we're done with this loading screen. But, uh, real quickly, let me show you this. If you go to your story page, you can see I'm... And then I'll have your name, then I'll show you the, uh... The stuff that you chose. Um... It'll show you... The next quest, the next quest, the next quest, the next quest. Now, the only way you'll get this exact story quest as me is if you follow every decision I go with, including being a necromancer and being a human. That matters. I found out what Two Blade Pete is planning. He and his gang are going to poison the city well. While everyone's sick, they'll break into the shops and steal whatever they want. Devious. He's going to hurt a lot of innocent people. Women, children... Pete has to be stopped. And it gets worse. My sources tell me Pete knows where Quinn is hiding. The gang thinks Quinn snitched about the apothecary job. Two-blade Pete's a loose cannon. Your friend is in real danger. You need to get Quinn out of there before he gets hurt. I disagree. You can't put one person's life over the well-being of the city. One person or many. Think about it. And this brings up... The first, like this before. I just the first option than mine. of our story. We can save Quinn or save the uh, the innocents. Now, usually, um, oh my God! Hello there. <laughs> How are you? I just looked out my window and there's a huge deer just chilling out. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Um. But yeah, usually, well, in every storyline, I believe you are given two options: save a friend or save many. I know in one of my other stories, uh, a Savari story, uh, I was to save my friend or save a large group of people. In all of my stories, I have chose 
save a large group of people. This is not an exception, um, because honestly, usually your friend does have the ability to get out, I guess. So do we want power, toughness, or vitality? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Toughness. I don't... Actually, I'll take the cloth just so well I done. can have the, uh... There we go. Ooh, we got a second utility skill. But we are now level 10. And we're back at the loading screen. <laughs> oh, gosh. But yes, we are now level 10. And, um, I was almost about to lose my train of thought. But I'm not going to let myself do that. So yeah, usually you want to save the, uh, the majority of the people because that will be better for your character. Second thing I want to do is get a new slot, and then the third thing I was going to say, I chose this, the cloth coat, so that way I can have the uh, full cloth set because this honestly just looked dumb. I really do like the, uh, the apprentice armor though. I think it looks really nice. Right. So now, um, let's get a new skill. Um, those are locked in level 11. Uh, oh, that one's good. Passive effect plus 10% movement speed. Mm, that one's good. I think I'm gonna get this one. The, uh, that one. So sure. that's how it's done. You can get all of those if you want, but I am going to save up my skill point. Actually, we have to get five so we can do some stuff. So we'll get that just because we have to. Very kind of. useful. Um, we'll get that. We'll get that. There we go. So now we can unlock these skills. Once we get five of these, we can unlock these. Once we hit level 30, we can unlock these. And once we get two of these, we can get those. That's basically how the skills work. Um, right, so we are on level 8 of our story. So next episode, we are going to be doing more of the personal story. As we try to get to um, level 11, we'll probably be doing a lot of story next episode, making it probably a really long episode. But hey, we're going to be uh, away from Guild Wars for a while, so why not give you extra stuff? So, extra content, that is. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Zilix. I'll see you guys next time. K-Tanks, bye.